I think I found a dinosaur. Those were the words of Joe Davis. It's the largest and most complete skeleton of its kind ever found in the UK. I looked down and just saw this series of ridges in the mud. Hang on, that looks different. There's something there that's different. From near perfectly preserved mammoths to ancient cave lions and woolly rhinos, these are prehistoric creatures scientists found frozen in ice. In 2007 and 2008, two baby mammoths, later named Lyuba and Chroma, were found in Siberia. They were so well preserved that researchers were able to piece together how they died, even though both calves, one about one month old and the other two months old, died more than 40,000 years ago. Scientists used CT scans to find that the two mammoths probably choked on mud after falling into water. Daniel Fisher, a co-author of the study, stated the mud was like a really thick batter that they got clogged in their trachea and they were unable to dislodge by coughing. Basically preserved them from taking another breath. Lyuba and the one month old calf was discovered by a reindeer herder. Proma was found in 2008, frozen upright in permafrost. Scavengers had eaten parts of her heart, lungs and skull. But both mummies still showed a neonatal line on their teeth, a marker of stress during birth, which helped scientists estimate their ages. CT scans of Lyuba showed signs of what's called a mammalian dye reflex, showing that she fell through the ice into a muddy lake where she tried to clear the mud from her airways but eventually suffocated. Chroma, who had a belly full of breast milk, also had mud in her trachea, but her death is a bit less cut and dry. But according to researchers, it's possible she fell into a river, broke her back, and was then buried in mud while trying to escape. In 2015, scientists in Siberia discovered a baby woolly rhino, perfectly preserved in a frozen riverbank. Nicknamed Sasha after the man who found it, the rhino calf is the most complete specimen of its kind ever discovered. Sasha lived around 10,000 years ago, was about 1.5 meters long, or almost 5 feet, and 0.8 meters high, about 2.6 feet, much smaller than the fully grown adults, which could reach up to 15 feet long. According to Albert Protopopov from the Yakushian Academy of Sciences, baby woolly rhinos are incredibly rare to find. So this was a pretty amazing discovery, especially because it helps researchers learn more about the early life of these animals, which they didn't really know much about before. Woolly rhinos went extinct around 10,000 years ago. Climate change and habitat loss likely led to their extinction but some scientists also think overhunting may have been a part of it. Around 30,000 years ago in Siberia, a tiny cave lion cub was making its way across the tundra when a sudden mudslide or crack in the permafrost caused the cub to fall and get trapped. The cub was buried in ice, preserving her fur, skin, and organs in almost perfect condition. This poor cub, later named Sparta, was discovered by mammoth tusk hunters in 2017, poking out of the melting permafrost in Yakutia, Siberia. Sparta is probably the best preserved ice age animal ever found, said Love Dallin, one of the study's co-authors, going on to say that even her whiskers were preserved. Sparta died about 28,000 years ago, and she was actually found alongside another cub named Boris, who was even older, dying around 43,000 years ago. Both cubs were about one to two months old when they died, with their sharp teeth just starting to emerge. Cave lions were closely related to modern African lions and lived across the Northern Hemisphere during the Ice Age. Unlike today's lions, though, these were, of course, adapted to freezing cold weather. In 2020, a perfectly preserved bear mummy was discovered in the Siberian permafrost. Siberia again. But anyway, it wasn't quite what scientists expected. At first, researchers thought they'd found the remains of a giant extinct cave bear, but eventually they realized the bear was much younger and from a completely different species. The bear was found by reindeer herders on a remote island in the East Siberian Sea. It was so well preserved that scientists could still see its skin, fur, claws, teeth, nose, internal organs, and even body fat. The remains were named the Atherican Bear after a nearby river. At first, researchers at the Lazarev Mammoth Museum believed the bear was a cave bear, a massive species that went extinct about 22,000 years ago, but this bear was only about 3,460 years old. Turned out to be a young female brown bear standing just over five feet tall and weighing around 172 pounds. It was probably around two to three years old when it died. The bear's stomach contents revealed it had been eating plants and birds with feathers still found inside its belly, which is incredible. 
think about it. It also had signs of spinal injuries, which may have contributed to its death. In 2016, a gold miner in Yukon, Canada discovered something frozen in the ice. It turned out to be an ancient wolf pup, which had been almost perfectly preserved for 57,000 years. The mummified gray wolf, known as Zur, was found in the Klondike gold fields near Dawson City. Lead researcher Julie Machen, an anatomy professor, called it, quote, the most complete wolf specimen ever found from the Ice Age, going on to say all her soft tissue, her hair, her skin, even her little nose is still there. She's just complete, and that is really rare. Using radiocarbon dating and DNA analysis, scientists confirmed Zur died at just seven weeks old. Her remains were especially important because they were discovered in North America, unlike most finds in Siberia, as you've seen from this list, which are harder to access. Michelle and her team were able to link Zur's DNA to both ancient Beringian wolves from Yukon and Russian gray wolves, which means that ancient wolves from North America and Eurasia mixed. Zur's remains also showed them what Ice Age wolves ate. The assumption had always been that they mostly ate bison or oxen, but as it turned out, this wolf mostly consumed aquatic animals, much like modern wolves in Alaska. In 2011, members of a tribe in northern Siberia found the remains of a steppe bison, perfectly preserved after being frozen for nearly 10,000 years. The bison was transported to the Yakutian Academy of Sciences, where scientists began to study it. Unlike other bison mummies discovered over the years, this one was almost entirely intact, with its internal organs in remarkable condition. Olga Potapova, collections curator at the Mammoth Site of Hot Springs, explained that while bison mummies are not uncommon, they're usually incomplete, saying, quote, Normally what you find with mummies of megafauna is partial carcasses, but this mummy was preserved so well that it earned a record for the level of its preservation. The bison, which was probably about four years old when it died, looked like it had starved to death. There was no fat around its abdomen, but its heart and digestive systems were pretty intact, even though some organs had shrunk over time. Researchers even managed to extract tissue samples from each organ, and for the first time ever, they found steppe bison brain tissue still preserved. In 2022, a nearly perfectly mummified baby woolly mammoth was discovered by a miner in the permafrost of Canada's Klondike goldfields, dating back around 30,000 years. The, the calf, thought to be around one month old when it died, was a female and measured just four and a half feet long. Researchers described it as the most complete mummified mammoth found in North America. A lot of its skin and hair was still intact. As an Ice Age paleontologist, it had been one of my lifelong dreams to come face to face with a real woolly mammoth, said Grant Zazula, a paleontologist with the Yukon government, going on to describe the mammoth as, quote, one of the most incredible mummified Ice Age animals ever discovered in the world. The discovery happened when a mine worker hit something unexpected while digging. The team stopped all their work and brought in geologists who managed to recover the mammoth's remains and just in time because a storm had been rolling in. Analysis suggested that the mammoth may have died after getting trapped in mud while grazing with grass found in her stomach. In 2018, yet another incredible discovery was made in Siberia. The nearly perfectly preserved mummified remains of an Ice Age horse, believed to have died between 30,000 and 40,000 years ago. Its body was so well preserved that even tiny details like the hairs in its nostrils and around its hooves were still visible. The foal was found deep in a crater, about 328 feet or 100 meters deep, during an expedition in Yakutia. It was around two months old when it died. The mummified body was almost entirely intact, with no visible damage. Scientists collected samples from the foal's hair and tissue and found it belonged to an extinct species known as the Lena horse, which was genetically distinct from the wild horses that still roam the area today. This species lived in Siberia tens of thousands of years ago and disappeared long before modern horses evolved. In 2016, biologist Steve Emsley was in Southern Antarctica when he came across something kind of confusing. It looked to be a recently abandoned Adelie penguin colony. 
There were mummified chicks, guano stains, pebbles from nests, but the thing is, Adelie penguins hadn't been spotted in the region for centuries. What Amsley soon discovered was that the penguin remains were far older than anyone could have imagined. Radiocarbon dating of the bones, eggshells, and mummified skin showed that these penguins had been dead for thousands of years. The rapidly melting ice in Antarctica revealed these ancient penguin remains. The penguins had likely settled in the area during warmer periods when the sea ice melted early, allowing the birds to reach the area and build their nests. The most recent colony, which had been buried during the Little Ice Age about 800 years ago, was finally uncovered as the region's ice began to recede. What you're looking at here is a tardigrade, aka a water bear. Now, is this a newly discovered alien species? Well, I wish, but no, these things actually exist right here at home. They're just really, really tiny, which I'm thankful for, because imagine if that alien looking thing was the size of just even a regular house cat that would just be horrifying. Tardigrades, nicknamed water bears, are one of the most resilient animals on the planet. They're microscopic animals that are known for their ability to survive in very extreme conditions all over the world. In places like Antarctica, they've been found frozen in ice for thousands of years. And what's amazing about these things is their ability to go into a kind of state of suspended animation. When conditions are harsh, like extreme cold or dryness, tardigrades dry out or freeze and enter a kind of hibernation. And when researchers thaw them out, they can come back to life. Water bears have even survived space travel in this dormant state. This makes them one of the toughest known organisms in the world. With all that said, I've been your host James and I'll catch you, yes you specifically, in the next video. Thank you.